Hi students, welcome back. Today we will study about renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. Energy plays a huge factor in our lives, providing comfort, increases productivity and allowing us to live the way we want to. Energy lights our cities, powers our vehicles, used in cooking and manufacturing. Since energy is used in various ways, and everyone needs energy, sometimes energy crisis occurs. What is energy crisis? An energy crisis occurs when we all have a great need of fuel or electricity but does not have enough amounts of them. So, we need a good source of energy. A good source of energy gives large amount of energy per unit mass, easily accessible, easy to store, economical, and cheap and easy to transport. So basically there are sources of energy can be divided into two types. First is conventional and non-conventional. Sources which are being used since long time like coal, wind, wood are conventional sources. Non-conventional sources which has been started only recently like sun, wave, etc. Then sources of energy can be divided into renewable and non-renewable source of energy. Renewable is a natural source providing us energy continuously is called renewable or non-conventional source of energy. The non-renewable source is a source of energy which has been accumulated in nature over very long period and cannot be quickly replaced when exhausted are called non-renewable or conventional source of energy. Let's see renewable energy in detail. Renewable or non-conventional sources of energy are wind energy, solar energy, hydroelectricity, geothermal energy, biomass energy and tidal energy. So sun or solar energy. Sun is the main source of various types of energy. The energy from the sun is called solar energy. Solar energy absorbed by land and sea causes wind, storms, rain, snowfall and sea waves. While solar energy absorbed by plants help in photosynthesis. But since earth is very far away from sun, we just receive a small amount of the total energy that is produced by the sun. Then wind as a source of energy. The large mass of moving air is called wind and due to its motion it has kinetic energy. This wind energy is used in removing husk from the grain, in propelling sailboats in rivers and seas, in moving vehicles for transportation and in windmills to draw water from ground and grind grains. Then flowing water as a source of energy. The kinetic energy possessed by the flowing water is called hydro energy. Flowing water is used to rotate wheels in large devices and machines. Then biomass as a source of energy. The waste and dead parts of living beings like plants, trees and animals is called biomass. They contain carbon compound. The chemical energy stored in biomass is called bioenergy. Biomass is used to make biogas which is used as a fuel to run engines and generate electricity. Gopar gas plant is an example of it. Now tide as a source of energy. The rise of ocean water near the coast is called high tide. Let's see this example. When low tide there was no water up to the stairs but in the case of high tide the water reaches up to the stairs. So this happens twice a day. Energy of this rising and falling water in tides is called tidal energy. Tidal energy can be used to produce electricity by constructing a dam across a narrow opening to the sea. But till now in India it has not been used as the rise and fall of tidal waves is not enough for generating large amount of electricity. Second, there are very few sites which are suitable for building tidal dams. The third oceanic or sea waves energy. This oceanic 
waves energy or sea waves energy is divided into two types one is ocean thermal energy what is this thermal energy ocean thermal energy water at the surface of the ocean gets heated by absorbing the heat of the sun while water at the deeper levels remain cold so the difference between these two temperature gives rise to oceanic thermal energy the difference is always 20 degree or more the energy available due to the difference in temperature of the water at the surface and deeper levels of ocean is called the ocean thermal energy ocean thermal energy is obtained by a device which is shown here known as ocean thermal energy conversion power plant second oceanic waves due to the wind blowing on the surface of the ocean as you can see in this figure waves move at high speed on its surface are called oceanic waves or sea waves the kinetic energy possessed by such moving oceanic sea waves is called oceanic wave energy scientists are trying to use this energy but till, till now it has not been yet used the next one is geothermal energy source at some places the rocks below the surface of earth are very hot such places are known as hot spots the heat energy possessed by rocks inside the earth is called geothermal energy there are various places in usa and new zealand where geothermal based power plants are present the nuclear reaction as a source of energy when uranium nucleus is bombarded with slow neutron it splits into two light nuclei and a large energy is released this is known as fission as you can see in this figure then when two nuclei combine to form a nucleus fusion or energy is released the energy released is nuclear energy from which atom bombs are made so these are the renewable sources of energy and let's see what are the non renewable or conventional source of energy the source of energy which have accumulated in nature over a very long period and cannot be quickly easily replaced exhausted are called non renewable or conventional sources of energy one is coal coal is found in deep mines under the surface of the earth coal is a non renewable source of energy made of complex compound of carbon hydrogen oxygen along with some free carbon and compounds of nitrogen and sulfur it is a most common source of energy in our country then petroleum petroleum is a dark colored viscous liquid also called crude oil it's a non renewable source of energy which is found under the earth crust trapped in rocks then a liquefied version of petroleum is lpg which we use in every house in gas stops then natural gas natural gas is also a non renewable source of energy which is found in deep under the earth's crust either alone or above the petroleum reservoirs it's also obtained by digging wells into the earth so these are all and non renewable sources of energy so what's the difference between these two sources renewable source are the source of energy which can be obtained continuously over a long period of time non renewable sources are the sources of energy which cannot be continuously obtained for a long period of time renewable sources are also known as non conventional sources non renewable sources are known as conventional sources of energy renewable sources are the natural sources which will not get exhausted whereas non renewable sources easily gets exhausted with time then renewable sources can be regenerated non renewable sources cannot be regenerated so since there are various sources which we use abundantly like coal petroleum natural gases which is not easily regenerated so we have to use energy very cautiously the fossil fuel like coal petroleum should be used only for limited purpose when no other alternative source of energy is available wastage of energy should be avoided cutting of trees must be banned and more trees must be planted effort must be made to use energy in groups how it can be possible suppose a person is driving a car so one person is spending the whole petrol right instead four can manage to go in one car so energy can be used in groups new techniques using renewable sources of energy like solar energy solar bulbs so 
solar fans should be developed to meet our energy requirements. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.